Hey guys, me again. Uh, today we have a special, well, I wouldn't say maybe special, but an interesting repair that came through the door. And that would be this board that I have right in front of me. So, as you can see, I've been already doing some work, and you might have noticed this guy before. And that was for the, like, second video that I uploaded with the HP laptop. Um, basically, what I've been messing around with uh, is this board. Supposedly, there's a problem, and supposedly, it doesn't work like it should. Um, so, I was investigating, I was testing all these components, and so far, everything is testing okay. The only thing that I found was actually... Right over here, we have, this is a dual bridge uh, rectifier. So basically, in this package, we have two diodes. These are the anodes over here. And the cathode is over here on this side, the tab. So the tab is the cathode. And these two are the anodes. So, and this one, if you look very closely, it's shot, it's burned. It's no good. So this guy, basically the... The uh, anodes go on this track, they go up to here, and then under the board, I'll tell you which leg it goes to. It goes to this guy here, which is the, this is another dual bridge rectifier. It's the, uh, this is the anode as well. So the anode here, sorry, the anode over here comes through this trace and it goes all the way up to that guy right there, so to this anode. And this this guy is okay, I tested it with my multimeter. Again, everything I tested, this is a dual bridge rectifier. This is a regulator. This is another, actually no, sorry. This is a MOSFET. Uh, this is a BJT NPN transistor. And these are two uh, dual channel rectifiers like this one. So they all test good. Uh, and even these guys here, all these little ones here that you see, these are all dual bridge rectifiers. And they're the same part as this one. They all test okay. And this one actually tests okay. So the cathode here is tied to the cathode on this one. These, uh, This one is okay. I tested it. It's just this one has gone open. So uh, this, this one has gone open. I uh, know this one's almost gone short and this one is completely shorted. So... Um, we're going to replace this. I don't have the part on hand with me right now, so I'm going to have to order it on DigiKey. And when it comes, probably early next week, because today is, the time of filming is Thursday. They're going to ship it out probably tomorrow. Uh, if I'm lucky, I get it tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to get it tomorrow, so we'll see about that. Um, but everything else that I've tested so far is okay. There's no problem. So I'm going to start by removing this. And uh, we'll have a look again when it's when it's completely removed. Okay, so the part has been removed. If you notice, it's no longer there. So there's no longer the short is has disappeared. And uh, I put it here. The legs broke off pretty much when I removed it. So looks like this now. But if maybe if I hold it in my hand, you might see a bit better. It's it's no good. It's it's done for. So, we're going to order a new one, put it in, and hopefully it solves this problem. So, because again, I tested everything else and everything else seems to be working okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's not much else that I can do really at this point other than wait for parts. So, when the parts come in, I'll, I'll obviously record and uh, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. So, when the parts come in, I'll... Resume video taping, otherwise this will be put to the side and we'll wait for the parts to come in. So stay tuned. We are back. Um, so the parts came in, They're right here. Um, I'm going to flip it around. Here we go. Because I don't want to expose all my private details. Uh, the key. that's my source that I get my stuff. And, uh, well, most of the time I should say. I should say, uh, here they are. I'll get them out, but uh, that's the details right there. So we're going to go ahead, put one in. And I think that's going to be pretty much it for this board because it doesn't seem like there's anything else wrong with it. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, take it out, put it in, and we'll come back. So we are back, and 
there's our new connector, or sorry, not connector, sorry, my uh, camera's not too great here. This is the new, um, new dual bridge rectifier in place. All this smudge here is just this conformal coating that was on here before. So I'm, I'm going to try to clean it up as best as I can, but if it stays there, it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, we're going to just do a quick test. I have my meter right there and I'm going to see if I can do this on camera for you. It's not going to be easy, but here we go. Let's try. So the cathode is the tab and the anode is the legs. And if I hold this in a certain way, there we go. Yeah, so here's the first uh, diode. As you can see, we are reading almost 400 millivolts, which is good. And then the other one, we're going to see. We see also close to 400 as well. And you can probably take a look down there. And I have the black probe on the tab and the red probe on one of the legs. So... This diode is, uh, this rectifier, I should say, is okay. Basically, the way this works is there's, uh, inside this one package, internally, there are two diodes. Uh, so the cathode, the negative, is here, the tab. So that's the common point between the two. And then the anode is the, uh, the pot, which is the positive is uh, these tabs over here. So this one over here and this one over here. So that's for the first diode and this for the second diode. Um, and that's pretty much it. And all these ones over here as well, they're pretty much the same thing. I'm not sure what these are. I haven't taken a look at it yet. Um, probably a driver or something or a controller uh, for sure. So a hitch bridge or something like that. So I, I don't remember, but basically, yeah. Um, now these two are okay, so the last thing I'm going to do, I checked everything over here, this seems to be okay, and there's no funny business going on here, all the big guys over there are test okay, so it could very well be just that one part, but uh, I'm going to put some power to this board, I'm going to try to inject some power to this board, and we're going to see if uh, we have any shorts still in place. Alright guys, so I ended up putting it away, uh, I completely forgot to, to say this with the board in front of me, but I put it away, so... Place the component, give it a quick test. Everything is okay, it seems. So the only way, unfortunately, to test it though really properly is if it gets back to the customer, and the customer puts it in his unit, and hopefully he gets it up and running, and uh, there should be no more problems with the unit overall. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. So if you guys, uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, put a comment down in the bleep bloop section below, and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss a. Uh, uh, a new video when I upload so until next time take care guys bye bye